Hello guys, it's Lucy here. Welcome back or to my channel. And in today's video, I am doing another one of the videos on my making out boost based on a certain aesthetic series and this time we are doing the aesthetic of late academia because i feel like this is kind of an appropriate time of the year to do it because i feel like light academia and dark academia all the academic um aesthetics for the most part actually kind of give me very fall like vibes and it is fall right now and i'm definitely starting to feel the cold weather where i'm living so i thought this was a good aesthetic to do today um i haven't done the dark academia aesthetic before this um this aesthetic is actually kind of very it's very similar to the dark academia aesthetic I, you probably know what the Dark Academia aesthetic is because it is a very popular aesthetic. I have not done a video on it before, but in my video where I ranked a bunch of different aesthetics, I did briefly talk about Light Academia and Dark Academia, so you can check that out if you want to. The link will be in the top right corner of the screen, and I am probably pointing to the wrong corner, but it's fine. But basically, Dark Academia has a lot to do with kind of appreciation for like studying and literature and like art, music, history, literature, reading, stuff like that. Light Academia is pretty similar in that it kind of shares a like a very a thirst for knowledge, but it kind of has lighter visuals and kind of focuses more on like positivity and kind of just like warm and cozy imagery than Dark Academia is, which is kind of more darker because that's literally the name. Um, there's a lot of British architecture and like European architecture in this aesthetic, also in the dark aesthetic as well. But like I said, it does have a lot of cozy um, imagery, like cozy and domestic imagery as well. So yeah, that is a quick explanation of the light academia aesthetic. So now we are going to move on to talking about what are the types of like fashion that is in this aesthetic. So usually when I get to this section of the video, I try to basically tell you all the types of fashion in the aesthetic um, by uh, memorization. But I usually end up forgetting a lot of stuff when I do that. And there is a lot of stuff in this aesthetic. Like, there is a lot. Probably more diversity than any of the other aesthetics I've covered so far. So I realized as I was looking at my script, I was not going to be able to remember all of it. So I instead wrote down a list of all of the stuff in this aesthetic. So this aesthetic, like I said, is very similar to Dark Academia, so the fashion is pretty similar to that too. A lot of the fashion is like very studious and it's kind of like, it's very studious and put together stuff. So for the tops, there is often a lot of blazers, turtlenecks, corduroy jackets, which I'm not sure what those are. Cardigans, which if you don't know what a cardigan is, it's basically the fancy word for a school sweater. I used to own a cardigan back when I went to a private school and I do not think I own it anymore, but if I did this, this it would probably be pretty good as a stick. Um, it also has a lot of knit sweaters and jumpers. The bottoms are, there's less under bottoms. There are linen shorts, dress pants, skirts, and bell bottom jeans. Uh, for the skirts, it doesn't specify the length of the skirt, but I am assuming that you it's a lot of plaid skirts. For outerwear, there's trench coats, pea coats, duffel coats, overcoats, a lot of coats, waistcoats, and uniforms. And for the accessories and shoes, I'm putting these two parts, I'm doing them together because I just wanted to put the shoes and the accessories in one category. So the accessories are Mary Jane's, Doc Martens, Oxford shoes, headbands, glasses, hair ribbons, hair clips, knee high and ruffle socks, watches, leather belts, berets, and pearl jewelry a lot. Not, well, yeah, mostly pearl jewelry, probably a lot of necklaces and bracelets, but pretty much any pearl jewelry. And for the last thing, we have the colors, which there's actually a lot of colors in this. A lot of these are more neutral colors, or if they're not neutral colors, they're usually like darker versions. 
or more toned down versions of the color. But here's the list. So there's a lot of browns, creams, and whites, rose, burgundy, greens, yellows, navy blue, gray, and black. So that is basically the rundown of everything that is in this list thing. And there's a lot of stuff on here, but a lot of this stuff, especially under the actual clothing, I don't really own too much of. So I'm just going to be taking what I have in my wardrobe and just try to fix it out, fix some outfits from there. Again, it probably, these outfits are probably going to be more colorful than this aesthetic usually is because I just own a lot of colorful clothing, but that's fine because it's, I can take my own little spin on the Lay Academia aesthetic. So yeah, with that all the way, let's just get into making some outfits. Okay, so for this first outfit, this first outfit is pretty simple for the most part, but I honestly think this outfit actually turned out pretty good and actually probably turned out better better in real life than it did in my head, which usually it's the other way around, so that's good. So with this outfit, I am just wearing this plain blue, light blue button up that was actually used to be part of my uniform back when I went to a private school. Like I said earlier, I used to go to a private school and I had a uniform there, which I hated, but the uniform would have actually been pretty good for this video, but unfortunately I don't have most of the items from it anymore because I think we gave them away or something. I don't know where they are, but I just don't have them anymore, but I still do have the button up for it, so I'm just wearing this light blue button up and I'm just wearing these black jeggings to go along with it because I don't have any dress pants so I'm just using jeans as a substitute and then just wearing some white socks with these black Mary Janes. So for the accessories I am wearing a black beret to match along with this and I'm also wearing this white pearl bracelet and this kind of just like beige colored um purse which can actually be a handbag or a purse because I just thought I wanted to add it. It's not part of the list of accessories that I said earlier in the video but I just thought it was a nice addition to the outfit so I thought if it looks good why not wear it. <laughs> so um yeah I feel like this outfit is definitely giving me very like um you're about you're like probably walking through the city vibes. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like this is giving me very walking through the city during the fall vibes. Obviously, probably a warmer day in fall because I don't have long sleeves, but I actually really like this outfit. I think it's really cute. Okay, so for this next outfit, my attempt was to kind of make it like this dress I'm wearing, like a jumper, but I do not own any jumpers, at least not anymore. So I just decided to use this like um, dark pink dress that I own and just pretend it's a jumper because I just think this dress is really pretty so I wanted to wear it. And I'm also just wearing this pink plaid button up along with it and then just some silver leggings because I thought this outfit needed some leggings to it but I didn't want them to be very colorful leggings and honestly every time I just don't know what color leggings I need to, I want to use I just default to using these because I love these but anyway so I, I like this how I paired this um, pink button up with the pink dress because it kind of gives this monochromatic look to it because I have like a brighter shade of pink and I have a darker one and this is also great because like if you're cold then you can just um, put this on, slip it on over this dress since it's short sleeve and if you're getting hot you can just take it off like this or just like tie around your waist or whatever. That's the thing, that's the nice thing about wearing button up tops and having something under it. You can just take it off if you get too hot and you can put it on if you get too cold. And actually, the story about these glasses, so if you watched my video where um, I, I made a sketch about the 16 personality types as different types of dancers, there was 
when I got to the ISTJ in that skit, I was wearing these glasses. And um, by the way, you should t check that video out because that video was super fun and I loved making it. So you should check it out. It's in the link in the top right corner if you want to see it. Um, these glasses are actually real because I actually, these are actually my prescription glasses. And the reason why you don't see me wearing these glasses very often is because I have a very light prescription for glasses. Like, I only really wear these if I am required to see things from, like, very far away. If I'm, like, watching a ballet performance, not, like, in the ballet performance, but if I'm, like, watching it or something, that's a good example of where I would use these. But I don't really wear these very much because, like I said, I do have a very light prescription, so I'm not required to wear these, like, 24-7. So... I don't very, wear them very much, but I think these are really pretty glasses, and they've actually been complimented whenever I wear them, so, um, yeah, I decided to wear them with this outfit because that is one of the accessories on the list, and I just think it's really cute. I actually really like this, um, outfit. I think it is really pretty, and you guys know me, I have to have a pink outfit in every video because I love pink, so... Okay, so for this next outfit, this is a pretty simple outfit and I was originally going to add this like big pink coat that I have to this outfit and I ended up not doing that and the reason why is because when I put it on I realized it was a bit too much so I just decided to scrap that and just go for a more simple outfit so with this outfit I am just wearing this white knit sweater and then some um, blue jeggings and then some white socks with these black Mary Janes. I'm using the Mary Janes for like pretty much every outfit because they just are the ones that work the best. And then I'm also just wearing this pink headband along with it. And I'm actually using this like pink fuzzy purse sort of thing. Well, it's not really a purse. It's actually more of like a hand mitten thing. And it actually did come with the jacket that I was originally going to wear. And I so I had it upstairs in my room anyway. So I was like, well, why not just use this in the outfit? Because it just looks really cute. So yeah, again, I just scrapped the jacket because it was just way too much. And then I'm also just wearing this pink watch on me, which I do not know exactly what time it is right now, but I'm pretty sure this watch is at least one hour behind the actual time because I have not worn this watch in like years. So, um, yeah, this is a fairly simple outfit, but I think it works. Again, I was going to be more, it was going to be more chaotic and then I just realized that it was going to be too chaotic, so I just scrapped the coat thing, so yeah. Okay, so for this next outfit, again, I kind of wanted this to be sort of like a jumper, but since I don't have any jumpers, I'm just using this white and navy blue fancy dress, which I adore this dress. I think this dress is super beautiful, and I really want to wear it more. And I am also wearing this navy blue sweater that actually comes along with it because I, like I said at the beginning, I used to have a cardigan, now I don't. I wanted this to be kind of like a cardigan, so I am just using this navy blue sweater, and then I'm also using this kind of um, charm necklace that I have worn a lot of times because I really like this necklace because I thought it looked cute. And then I'm also actually wearing this white hair bow because hair bows are also part of this aesthetic. I wanted to use a navy blue hair bow, um, originally, but when I looked, I don't have any navy blue hair bro navy blue hair bows, so I just ended up using this white one, but I think this white one is just super adorable. I, I just, I just absolutely love it. It's super cute, and I'm also just wearing these white socks and then the black Mary Janes, because again, I'm just defaulting to using the black Mary Janes, because those are the most school-like shoes I have, so... Um, yeah, I actually really like this outfit. It's, like, pretty simple, but I think it's just, like, really cute. I think this is a very cutesy, light academia look, and, yeah, I just really like this outfit. I think it's really cute. I think the white hair bow is my favorite part of this. I just love this white hair bow. I actually think 
I don't think the white, the these like these parts were supposed to be hanging down. I think it was kind of undone on accident. But honestly, it looks cuter that way. So I'm just keeping it like that. For this next outfit, this outfit could probably be kind of a mix between um, light academia and dark academia. It could probably be for both aesthetics actually. So with this outfit, I'm just wearing this plain black sweater, which just has these ruffled sleeves at the edges and then the black jeggings that I was wearing earlier. And then I'm also wearing this black beret. And to make sure that this outfit isn't all black and I have something going on the neckline, I have the charm necklace I was wearing in the last outfit. So, um, yeah, this is a pretty simple outfit and I definitely have worn this outfit before, but I think it's a pretty good outfit that matches this aesthetic because I feel like this definitely gives me very studious vibes. I guess it kind of reminds me of like a teacher or like a drama teacher, but either way, I think it does fit the academia aesthetic. Like I said before, this outfit is kind of um, more like a mix between light and dark academia, probably more on the dark academia side, but yeah. There's a, like I said at the beginning, the dark academia aesthetics and the light academia aesthetic is, are very similar to each other, but the light academia aesthetic is just lighter and kind of less disturbing than the dark academia aesthetic is, so um, yeah. Okay, so for the final outfit in this video, I am just wearing this kind of silver button up top and then I am wearing this pink skirt under it because skirts are part of this aesthetic and I haven't used one yet in this video. So I wanted to do that for this outfit and then I'm just wearing these um, leg these like silver leggings under it that I wore in the previous outfit, I think in the second outfit in this video and then as always, I'm just wearing the white socks and then the black Mary Jane shoes. And then I'm actually wearing this silver headband that has these like gold, that has um <laughs> gold ribbons on it. Because I think I made this headband a while back and I thought it worked because I kind of wanted to have a headband with this. I was thinking about using pink, but I couldn't find any pink that matches this color, so I decided to use silver instead. And I also like pairing silver and gold together because I think it's a really cute pairing. And then again, I'm just wearing the pink glasses that I wore in the second outfit. So, um, yeah, I actually really like this outfit. I think this outfit is super cute. I thought about using a bow in this a um, hair ribbon in this outfit, but I decided that the headband would look cuter. I feel like this kind of makes me look a little bit like a librarian almost. Yeah, I feel like this kind of makes me look a, like an I, I, I feel like this kind of makes me look like a librarian. I don't know about you guys, but I feel that like that's what it looks like to me. Um, I like I said, I love these glasses. These glasses are super cute and. I don't wear them much, but I have actually gotten a lot of compliments when I do wear them. So yeah, I think they definitely do do something to this outfit that makes it look super cute. So, But anyways guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to consider liking and subscribing to see more content like this on my channel. But anyways guys, hope you have a great day, night, or afternoon. Bye guys!